All right, we're going to be looking at a secret character in Vampire Survivors. And no, we're not talking about X Dash. We're talking about an even more secret character. This is a recent find. Shout out to the Reddit user 22RUGR for this find. So special thanks there. And we're going to just give it a shot here and do it live, so to speak, you know, and uh, see if it works. So basically, you got to do some hacking here. Uh, so I'm going to post a little, uh, path to where you're going to find this file. It's going to vary based on where your steam is installed and where you installed vampire survivor, but generally you just, you know, find your steam, basically find your vampire survivor, um, file, uh, main dot bundle dot JS. And then we're going to edit in here. Anything the uh, original user recommended garlic and so we're just going to do that But you could really use anything. You're just going to search for whatever the The weapon is dot png. So here I have garlic dot png. Let's see if I can uh, uh, Let's see can I get the zoom uh, Yeah, let's do that Okay, why the hell does this hotkey not work? Sorry. Um, whatever. I guess I'll just... Here we go. Okay, so we're going to search for garlic.png. Um, and then we're going to find the uh, power here. And rem remember what it was and whatever you're changing, because you're going to obviously want to change this back. What we're doing is we're making the actual power of whatever uh, weapon we're changing here be gigantic that way we can kill death because you can't kill death normally but if you give garlic an increase of power from 0.5 to say you know that save the file and then boot up vampire survivors we're gonna go kill death now all right moment of truth coming up do this work. <laughs> T minus ten seconds. I also like to point out how impressive it is that people can get to level 100 on this game. I literally cheated by, you know, I hacked and I didn't even get to it. All right, we got him. Do I have to uh, exit the game? Let's re Let's re take a look at that. Um, let's see. Okay, we gotta quit the run now. So. Uh, we will quit. And, uh, 11.6... 20.7, uh, Terra... Terabytes, we'll say, of damage did Garlic, um, achieve here. And, uh, yeah, now we're gonna go see if it worked. Oh, look at that. Missing... New... Missing no. Shout out to the, uh, you know, original Pokemon. And, uh, yeah, let's give it a quick shot here and see what we're working with. Sure. Uh, oh, oh, this is messed up. Okay, down is up, left is right. Um, I am. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm shooting things. They're not really visible. There are little dots on the screen. I don't know if you can see them. They, yeah, they seem to be shooting all over the map. Who knows really what's going on. Actually, these dots do seem to have hit detection, so you'll see there are little dots, and 
be lying if I didn't say the movement is messing with me. Um, yeah, the movement is opposite. So everything, basically you're driving it like a joystick. You're driving it like you're in a plane. Uh, and I don't think we can level up, it looks like. Yeah, I don't think we can level up. So, now, uh, I'm sure it's fun. It seems like hmm, it only does about 20 damage. I'm going to guess you can't beat the game with this. So, it's not a cool character to unlock, unlike that other, you know, the one that you enter the code. Exus, or whatever his name is. Um, yeah, this character sucks. <laughs> I mean, it's okay right now. Maybe if I get a red one, I can level up. No, I cannot. I mean, we're gonna see how long we can survive, right? Standing in one place is better. Oh, nope, it is not. Uh, and then an important note, we're going to want to change our garlic back, unless we really want our garlic doing a million damage. I kind of just want to die. What is that? Death Spiral is the name of that? Isn't that just the name of the axe? Well, anyway, uh, that's the new Seeker character. Uh... Probably not worth unlocking, to be honest, but, uh, hey, we did it. We have missing new. So, yeah.